Okay, we are calling this finished. The entire ceiling has been primed where it was raw with Pro Block and then painted with Eminence from Sherwin Williams, a flat white ceiling paint. Um, all these can lights were replaced with LED retrofit type that uh, match physically the brand new canless lights that we installed in new areas of the ceiling. And these are all Kelvin adjustable, light temperature adjustable. And I brought them into um, a slightly warm, uh, maybe like, a, I want to say, 3 or 3500 Kelvin, which is a nice brightness but also in my opinion it's maintains you know entertainment in the and in the kitchen areas in the dining room i don't i don't personally care for that blue white light it's cold and uninviting so this is the brightest sort of warm tone before it goes to sort of that bluish color which which is how i'll leave it but um you know i'm going to show the customer how to make the adjustments you just pull the fixture down and put the slide the switch back and forth and she may want to change before she had a different temperature bulb over the sink that may be by design or desire um, but it may have just been sometimes people have a hard time picking uh, the light temperature when they go to replace a bulb and then you come back and you haven't got what you wanted it didn't match so it's up to her but she can do that i covered the outlets that we installed she had other things going on here that i'm not going to get myself involved with painters tape and stuff that she had started because she's painting the kitchen cabinets so i'm not going to get involved with but um as a slight little shadow this time of day you know right here if i'm being critical of my own work but I think she said she wants to do French doors here and a patio in the in the near future. So that's going to get blown right out again. And in my defense, you know, the state of the plaster work in here, you know, is wanting, uh, you know, generally speaking, I would, I normally work to at least what I've got for existing quality. And then, um, you know, because it's just time and expense. This is a fairly expensive project for this customer. And for me, it would be as well, personally. So... Um, I'm sensitive to that. Areas that were important, more important, got more love and attention. In fact, right outside of my work, there are problems with the old existing, so it makes me feel better about the quality level of my work. But we got this zip, zap, zoop, zim, zam, zing, whatever you want to call that, all the way around. Our corners sort of dialed and uh, goes up and around real nice. Goes all around here. We got our holes filled and relocated our um, thermostat. We reapplied the trim just with a couple nails, one, two, th three pieces on this side, because again, we want to probably pop that off to paint, or she will. And in here, we touched up the areas that we popped through when we were taking the header out of here and threw the piece of trim back in above. This is that temperature light that I don't care for, but some people prefer it in certain areas. Filled in that low spot in the wall here, so as you step back, there isn't a big dent in it. And again, this is all the illusion of flatness, the illusion of smoothness, um, dealing with the light that you've got. We're gonna look at this again in the daytime and see what kind of a situation it looks like, but she's got uh, two circuits here, well, two control circuits um, for fan and light. If she has a fan light in the future, if not, one of them won't be necessary. And the kitchen lights work as designed here. Uh, all of these come on all around together, and the other circuit is just the two over the island and the one over the sink is on this is just how it was before but everything's functional and we cleaned up most of the plaster dabs and this is overspray and stuff but once again this floor has got you know even if we were going to keep this hardwood i wouldn't have been more careful than this necessarily unless i ran it against you know up to the customer and said you know we could do floor protection but then i'm rolling out ram board and taping it all in and spending a day installing that and a day taking it all out of here when you get down to getting it and getting it up and getting it out um there's a couple paid days there that's pretty expensive if you're not that worried and you, there's witness marks from the old walls and you would sand all of this and she's got you know there are areas here where the finish is completely missing uh little water marks and blotches and splotches and things like that so you would do all of this again working from the top down and you just you do your paint work and you get your baseboard off and then uh, before, after the wall painting, you'd do the floor sanding, getting everything in, come in like that. Then you'd get the uh, poly out and do the polyurethane on it. Then you'd come back in and do the trim on top of that. And the not necessarily the baseboard, but at least the, the shoe mold all the way around. But I got the uh, registers back on, on the wall there. Oh, and up in the bedrooms, 
we'll uh, look at those. Let's see, how will we look at those? We'll take our hat. And uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to look at this in the daylight or in the evening times as a finished thing. And I'm leaning on daylight now since I'm making a mess of this video. And now you guys listen to me blather and wander around. You know, there was some dust that got upstairs here, but I'm going to leave her to... Once again, she'd moved in recently. Everything's kind of in a sort of a state. Oh, there is a light in here. So this is the register that didn't exist before. We cut back the, the baseboard on both sides. And we got some mud and, you know, did some sanding and some primer around it. So that works now. Um, and this one is non-functional. But uh, if she has us back, back the trim, we can make a wall repair there and trim right across. And you'll never know there used to be a register there. And over here, hit the lights. And this is the one that existed before. But we had to carve it out larger to get the other one installed on the other side to take the existing... Um, uh, register box off and put in the new one that went in both directions. We made a big mess over here, so I'm just trying to show that with the light. That's been sanded, dialed, primed, and installed the register cover. Again, so most of my projects that I've made videos of have been left raw and, you know, there'll be other contractors doing other work or what have you, which is a bummer for a designer because I like to see the beginning and the very end dressed all up and decorated because I can do that stuff too, but um, we'll have to just live with this for now. This was a pleasure to do. I'm pleased. I hope that she's pleased. Uh, we didn't get any overspray on anything in here. This is all drop cloth and stuff, so... Um, this doesn't exist anymore, but she doesn't want to do anything um, because she's going to get right in here and have the floors altered. She's going to keep the tile in here, I think, but this is all coming out. The hardwood's all coming out. She's going to do a, a, a wood look tile. That needs a register cover. So tomorrow I've got the trash is outside on the porch to truck out of here. The you know few tools that are left over have got to leave. I'll probably buy a couple switch covers for those. The ones I took off were horrendous, um, you know, this kind of like Bavarian, Polish, you know, kind of, or whatever you want to call it, sort of fiddly. I've, I've mean that, or I say that technically. Um, I am part Bavarian, so I'm going to say whatever I want. But, uh, so we'll throw some nice plain ones on there. It's just the best practice is cheap enough. And I may get a register cover just to throw on there as a... I really hate the notion of anybody hurting themselves in a hole. The, leaving a hole in the floor is just not not legit. Her boyfriend is going to put up her new wall, her new light fixtures in these two spots here. And um, this place is going to come together. I'd love to come back and do this bathroom. She wants to add, incorporate this window and come way over here and then fly in flush here. And we'll move the thermostat again in the event that we do that. But, you know, overall, this is... Uh, what we were picturing and we haven't really got any sort of you know there's a very slight indication of where we were there and but you know this is a lot of this has got whoops and stuff in it it's hard to see here but there's various whoops here that have nothing to do with where we were working um it just it adds a little bit of character to this home and i would keep it that way if it were me too much drywall perfectly smooth and you lose some of uh what you've got here in the in the in the house so not that we want to make more problems, but it being in keeping with the textures that it has is more of a plastered texture and it's more vintage and more fun that way, in my opinion. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.